Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss very interesting topic named as Dessler syndrome. So first we will have an overview of Dessler syndrome. Dessler syndrome is basically a type of inflammation of the sac surrounding the heart known as pericardium. Dessler syndrome may also called as post myocardial infarction, post traumatic pericarditis, post cardiac injury syndrome, and the post pericardiotomy syndrome. Now we will see how does Dessler syndrome affects. Dessler syndrome can happen in people of any age or race, but it appears to be more common in people who are. 20 to 50 years old. So there are some risk factors that make you more likely to get Dressler syndrome. So the first symptom is heart attack, heart surgery, any heart procedure, any chest trauma because of accident or the injury, any previous use of prednisone medicine, any previous viral infection, and any previous case of pericarditis. Symptoms of Dressler syndrome. Dressler syndrome symptoms may include fatigue, any weakness, fever, chest pain during breathing, any difficulty in breathing, which we call as dyspnea, any rapid heartbeat like tachycardia, any pericardial effusion in which the fluid build up between your pericardium and your heart and painful joints and loss of desire to eat. So now what test will be done to diagnose the Dressler syndrome? So the first and the main test is the blood test which is known as complete blood count in which there is an elevated C creatinine protein level and the elevated erythrocyte sedimentation rate which shows there is an inflammation of the pericardium. The next test is a chest x-ray which can detect an increase in heart size due to increased fluid buildup in your heart. The third test is the electrocardiogram. This test shows the elevation of the ST segment and the depression of the PR interval. The last test which we mainly use for the diagnosis of the Dessler syndrome is the cardiac MRI or we call it as cardiac magnetic resonance imaging. This imaging test may be more useful in the follow-up to check for thickening or the excess fluid in your pericardium or it also shows the compression of your heart from your thickened pericardium. Now we will look at the management and the treatment protocol for the Dressler syndrome. So as you know, this is the inflammatory condition. So the anti-inflammatory drugs can reduce your pain and inflammation. The main treatment is usually either from the aspirin or from the other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen. Other than the pharmacological treatment, if you have a bad case of Dressler syndrome, your healthcare provider may do a surgical procedure, which is called as pericardiosynthesis. They will use a needle to drain the fluid from your pericardium. In the process of pericardiosynthesis, they insert the needle between the zevoid process and the costal margin with the 30 to 45 degree angle toward the left mid clavicle to drain the excess fluid from your pericardium. So that's all for Dressler syndrome. Thanks for watching.